Hey, Weather Warriors. In this video, we're talking about some super storms brewing out here in the Pacific Ocean. We have two super typhoons. I'm going to be going over that. Then I'm going to compare these giant storms to Hurricane Nana sitting out in the Atlantic Ocean right now. And then we're going to stack them onto the United States and show you how just how big and different these typhoons and hurricanes just are. So let's get right into it here. This is Hurricane Haishin, uh, or excuse me, Typhoon Haishin, just sitting off the coast of uh, South Korea, still a ways away. But we're going to go back a couple of days here. And uh, Wednesday and Tuesday here, and you can see uh, Typhoon Mysek, that actually tracked right through South Korea. Now, if you look at Haishin, we're going to go a day in advance here. It really starts to strengthen as we head towards Saturday and uh, Sunday. And you can see those wind speeds maxing out. We'll look at the another chart here in a second showing a higher degree of wind. But it is maxing out well past 90 miles per hour. This thing could be well past 150 miles an hour uh, as it gets close to South Korea. And you can see that it makes landfall right through South Korea here. Maybe just a tad east of Mysek, but really Seoul area and really central South Korea just getting a, a whipping here with both of these typhoons. So it's, if you imagine it hitting Florida, the Florida panhandle twice, it's kind of like what we're dealing with here. So pretty crazy stuff. Now they get typhoons every year, but right in the exact same location, pretty, pretty crazy stuff. And here's a uh, Haishin right now. Uh, it's actually nighttime over there, but you can see this very powerful spiral. Look at that. Very, very organized, very, uh, thick convective eye wall as well and that will continue to strengthen so this thing is not at max speed this thing could go up to 150 mile per hour winds and really get large here now i'm going to show you a little bit of a comparison here and then we'll go over the actual wind speeds so what is this well this is the i've cut out the 850 millibar circulation so we'll go back and i'll show you what i mean by this and uh, we'll go back a day and you see where the wind speeds are 25 miles per hour plus and where there's a circulation i've essentially cut that out so it's the greens essentially of these storms and we're going to size comparison the wind fields with these different storms so on the left here you're looking at mysec right here and if this were to be placed right over the western united states it would be literally that large again that's 25 miles an hour but if you look at the reds we'll go back and uh, show you the reds, those are 60, the, the darker reds are hurricane force winds essentially. So we'll go back to this. And so hurricane force winds, if it was placed right in this part of the central United States, you know, spanning much of Nevada. So really, really large there. So hurricane Mysek is about a thousand miles wide with that, that 25 mile an hour wind field. If you look at hurricane Nana, I actually have a, two of these here, so we'll just do one. But Nana, the wind field is really only about 325 miles wide. So much, much smaller. And then you look at Haishin, and Haishin's 1,500 mile wide with that 25 mile per hour wind field. And then hurricane force winds, you know, extending across much of the Ohio Valley. So these things are gigantic. And, you know, it affect much of the eastern United States with the tropical storm force winds at least and then hurricane winds affecting a lot of the ohio valley so very very large and you can see nana doesn't even stand a chance now nana is a very nana is a very small hurricane but still i mean this is a crazy comparison here here's my here's nana side by side then you look at nana and haishin side by side and then my and haishin side by side and so there's not a huge difference haishin could be a little bit bigger and again, 150 mile an hour wind speeds with that thing. And then you look at how many Nanas could fit in Mysek and Haishan. And if you fit all the Nanas in Mysek, we've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. And then Nanas and Haishan, you got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. So 15 of those little hurricanes could fit in Haishin. So pretty, pretty crazy. Again, Nana is a really small hurricane, but even, you know, hurricanes like Irma and, and some other hurricanes we've had in the past, 
you know, they're, they're very small compared to some of these typhoons out in the Pacific Ocean. Here is uh, Typhoon Haishin, and you can see this is going to be around Saturday into Sunday, and you can see that eye wall, really large eye wall, really strengthens. Okay, South Korea is up here, and uh, then as we go into the day Sunday, you can see that move almost due north, and then as we get towards Monday, it hits landfall and eventually starts to die out. Once these things hit landfall, and when they start interacting with the jet stream, especially, the, they'll start to kind of shear out a little bit and spread out. So even though it's larger, it's, it's lost intensity. So it will die out as we get towards Monday. But here's the actual wind speeds with the GFS computer model. And the GFS has wind speeds maxing out at 150 plus miles per hour, maybe even stronger than that, just off the coast of South Korea. As we get towards, uh, this is Sunday now, Sunday afternoon, it gets very close to Korea, wind speeds 140 plus miles an hour. And then as it hits landfall, you could be dealing with 130, 140 mile an hour winds. Now it's a little bit stronger down to the south because it's in the warm waters. When it gets close, farther north, and into that landfall, it might lose a little bit of a kick, but still, we're talking 120 to 150 mile an hour ranges here. That That is absolutely strong, so nothing to take lightly. And as we head towards uh, Monday night, it does start to kind of shear out and weaken and interacts with that land, but still tropical storm, maybe even hurricane force winds, even farther north into North Korea. And then as you can see, uh, the actual precipitation amounts 500 uh, millimeters all the way, well, I mean, 500 millimeters almost to the coast of South Korea, and then 100, 150, maybe even 230 or so into South Korea. So lots of rainfall as well. It is uh, a po pretty powerful storm, and you can see it going again right here. And uh, there it is right there at the moment. So People in South Korea under the gun again with another big super typhoon. Now, I also have a special announcement. Starting Monday, the 7th of September, Weather Decoded 2.0 is coming. And with that, if you like these types of visualizations with data and stuff, I think you're going to like Weather Decoded 2.0 because I'm custom coding a lot of this model data that you see and several different models as well. And I'm creating a custom viewer for the channel so that you guys can really see the data a lot better. I know that some of these maps are hard to see, especially when you're using your phone. So I'm custom coding a lot of the model data for the channel and a lot of other things coming for you guys as well with Weather Decoded 2.0. So stay tuned for that. That's coming around the 7th on Monday. So stay tuned for that. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you guys think of these data comparisons in the comments below. Hope you enjoyed this video. Share this with a friend and have a great day. See you guys later.